Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and welcome back to our Unity RPG tutorial series. Now, in the previous couple of episodes, we've been looking at making quests, and we've made a basic kind of walking quest and a item pickup quest. And then we're going to take a look at how to uh, handle a quest where you have to kill a certain amount of enemies. And we're going to use some of the basic ideas we've already put into place before. So, for example, the way we're going to handle it is much like we did with um, collecting an item where we sent the item name after it was picked up to the quest manager and then the quest, uh, the individual quest itself recognised what item was picked up. We're going to do something similar for handling our enemies being killed where we'll send the enemy name to our quest manager and then the, the individual quest itself will go, okay, an enemy of this type has been killed, we, so we will... Uh, add that to how many of the enemies have been killed and then once we reach our target uh, kill amount we will um, uh, complete the quest. So we're going to have to make those additions and changes to our scripts that we already have in the game. So we're actually going to add a new script but we're going to make some changes to ones we already have. So we're going to start off by opening up our quest manager script. Okay and once this is open here what we're going to do is so much like we did for our when our items were collected we're going to put in an extra line here for public string uh, enemy enemy killed. Perfect. Uh, so that's basically that's the only change we actually need to make to our quest manager. It's the same when we added the item collected. We didn't have to make any other changes to the quest manager itself. So we're going to make an extra change now to our quest object script. So I'm going to open this one up. So this is our this is what we use to control our individual quests as we've covered in the previous episodes. Um, let's give this a second to open up. There we go. Okay. So what we're going to do in here is add a few extra variables for us to use. So we're going to have, obviously, if we want to make sure that this is an enemy killing quest, we need a bool to keep track of that. So we'll say public bool is enemy quest. We'll obviously need to know the name of the enemy that we want to kill in our quest. So we'll say public uh, string, um, let's call it our target enemy. Then we will need to know how many enemies we're supposed to kill for our quest. So we'll have a public int uh, that we'll just call enemies to kill. And then we'll have, we obviously need to keep track of how many enemies we've already killed so far. So we'll have a private int that we'll call enemy kill count. Because we don't want to make any changes to that from outside the script. We only want it to happen within the script. So what we want to happen is, if an enemy is killed, its name will be sent to the quest manager. Which we'll set that up in a minute. Uh, and so the name will be set here for our enemy killed. At the moment, the only enemies we have in our game are our little red slime enemies. So we're just going to assume we're killing those red slimes. Uh, so in our quest object, so what would happen is we want to do a check and see if red line red slime has been has been set as the uh, enemy killed value up here. So what we'll do is in our update loop below our item quest check. We're going to do a check to see if we are in an enemy uh, kill quest. So if is enemy quest. So if we are, if are, if we are in this type of quest, what we want to do is go check on the quest manager, which we've already found uh, earlier in this script, or we've already assigned in this script. If the quest manager dot enemy killed, if that is equal to the type of enemy we have set here as our target enemy. So is equal to target enemy. Then we know that we've collected the right thing. So we can immediately go and make sure that we empty that out. The same way we did with item collected. So we will set on our quest manager. Item collect, or not item collected, sorry. Enemy killed will be equal to null. So that that's uh, set back to being empty again. And now instead of going straight to end quest here. What we want to do is just add one to whatever our enemy kill count is. So obviously that'll start at a zero. And say we want to kill three enemies, for example, that'll start out at zero, and we want to add one on every time we kill a new enemy. So what we'll do is say, okay, our enemy kill count should be plus. We can either say plus equals one, or we can just say enemy kill count plus plus. And all that will do is just add one to the value. 
Okay, so our enemy kill count is counting up now that we're doing this. So the next thing we want to do is, if we're in an enemy quest, we want to do a check and see if our enemy kill count um, is equal to how many enemies we have to kill in our quest. So if we have to kill three enemies, for example, as we uh, add new enemies to our kill count, we want to make sure that we uh, can actually complete our quest. So what we'll do is say if our enemy kill count is greater than or equal to, just in case for some strange reason it goes above our number. So if enemy kill count is greater than or equal to our enemies to kill. So if that is the case, then in that situation we want to immediately end our quest that we have run. So we'll save that there like that. So I'm just going to let that save. I'm going to go back into Unity. And then we, that's our only changes we need to make to our object script. Oh, we've got a bit of an error here on line 43. What have we got? Oh, that shouldn't be equals. Equals, that should just be equals. Because uh, we're not checking the value, we are setting the value. And equals, equals is only used for when we are assigning, or we, when we are checking a value. Okay, so what the only thing we're missing now is how we're actually setting the name within our quest manager. So to do that, we're going to take a look in our um, enemy health manager script. Here it is. So I'm going to open this up. And basically what we want to happen is when the enemy is killed, we'll send a message to the quest manager saying, okay, this is the name of the enemy that was just killed. Uh, oh, we got a bit of a weird problem there, but that's okay. Um, so what we want to do on our uh, enemy health manager here is obviously we need to know the name of the enemy that we're sending to our quest manager. So we're going to have a public string. Um, we'll call this enemy quest name. So this is the name that we'll use in relation to quests. And obviously we need to know the quest manager itself that we're actually sending this uh string of text too so we'll have a we'll have a private quest manager that we'll call we'll just call it the qm same as we've done before so what we want to do in our start function is obviously find that quest manager straight away so we'll say the qm is equal to find object of type quest manager like that and then what we want to do is right here is where we have a check in to see what happens when the enemy dies. We have if the enemy's current health is less than or equal to zero, then we destroy it and add the player's experience. So what we'll do just before we destroy it, we'll add in here on the quest manager. We want to set the enemy killed string on that to be equal to whatever enemy name we put in here, which is our enemy quest name. So we'll have enemy quest name there like that. OK, we're going to save this. So that's the only bits of scripting that we need to do here. So now we're going to put it all into action uh, back in our game. So we'll let this just compile down here in the corner. And then we're going to take a look at the quest manager system here and add a new quest. That'll finish compiling. There we go. Okay, so we have our quest manager. We have quest 0, 1, 2, and 3. So we're going to, I'm just going to duplicate quest 3 here. I'm just going to rename it to be quest four. So we want to make sure we set up our values here. So we're going to go for quest number four. Uh, when we start the text, we're going to make us our enemy have to kill three slimes. Or our player have to kill three slimes. So we're going to say for our start text, just uh, kill three uh, red slimes. And then when our player uh, kills them all, we wanted to say, well done, you killed those evil slimes okay so we want to make sure that this is not marked as an item quest we can it doesn't matter if we remove this crystal from the target item here or not it makes no difference really but we'll just remove it just for the sake of keeping things kind of consistent there's no need to have it something written in there if it's not an item quest so this is an enemy quest our target enemy is going to be red slime but we want to make sure that we use this exact same way of spelling and capitalizing things when we um are sending it from the individual enemies themselves and we take a look at doing that in a second uh, so I'm just gonna copy this so we have the exact same thing and then on enemies enemies to kill here we're gonna set that to be three so we have three enemies that we want to kill in the game okay so that's fine and dandy we have that set up so then we need to on our quest manager we need to remember that we drag our quest for onto our array of quests here 
we obviously need a starting point for our quest so let's go down to our one of our quest triggers here and I'm going to duplicate this and I'll just move it down here so it's with the other ones and I'm going to move this up to here just so it's nice and handy and we're going to set to be this to be on quest number four and it's already set to be a start quest so that's fine so the one thing we also need now is to actually have this um, send our player off to the other level and we have obviously covered this um, in uh, previous episodes before so I'm just going to set up a quick little um, object to shift around in the world Let me just move this so we're just going to create a new empty object I'm not even going to bother oh, let's just rename it to um, level exit we're not going to set up start points because there's no need to go into doing that when we just want to quickly show how this quest will work so I'm just going to set this up to be a trigger we're going to move it over here to the side of the map make it a little bit bigger like that and then we want to give it to the uh, load new area script and the the name of the scene we want to load is the the main scene yes so let's copy that although that just copied over my red slime that i had copied but that's okay so in level load we're going to paste that in there like that and save okay so we've got the basic setup we've got a start point for our script we've got a uh, a little area to load so we can go back to the other area where we can actually kill the slimes themselves and this way we'll see our quest manager uh, working and carrying over our quests between areas so we can see the quests actually stay active as we're going uh, and one other thing we want to do is in our prefabs here we want to go to our red slime guy down here and now on the enemy health manager we now have a slot for enemy quest name so we want to make sure we give this the exact same as we used uh, previously so we had red slime with capitals for the start speech word uh, and we want to make sure so we want to hit enter on that to make sure that it's applied so that'll be applied to all our red slimes back in our other area so what we should be able to do now is this will maximize when we play we'll hit play and we should be able to test this um uh, our quest out so we walk over here we get our message kill re three red slimes we'll load into the other area okay here we go let's find some slimes to kill oh he's he's done a better job of killing us than we are of him oh whatever these guys kill two there we go well done you killed those evil slimes so there you go you can see our simple little quest has worked there we've killed the slimes we wanted to kill and we can see that the quest manager has carried our active quest over between levels so actually if we uh, just we're gonna just to see that in action again I'm just going to play this here and I'm going to start a couple of these quests so we'll start this one and we'll go down here and we'll start this one so it's telling us to go to the tent and now what we can do is load up into the other level uh, I'm just going to pause this and we'll see that in our canvas here and on the quest manager you should see we have two quests now active within the world even though we've loaded into the complete other area so we see that our quests are being kept active as we go around so there you go that's the basics of setting up some nice simple quests but you'd be surprised at how uh, useful these can be as we go on through the game so there you go thanks for watching this episode and i'll be back soon with some more rpg tutorial goodness goodbye Thanks for watching this episode, and if you want to learn more about developing your own games, you can follow the link on screen to my complete 2D platformer game development course on Udemy, where you will learn how to program and build a complete game in Unity 2D with multiple levels, enemies, and unique boss battles. So click the link on screen or in the description below and get the course today.